Hi everybody, this is Patty Ann. Uh, welcome again to my basement studio. Today I'm here to show you something that we're really, really excited about at Beginnings Quilt Shop. And it, well, let me discuss, start it with this. Do you remember the quilt that won Best of Show at Ben, at ben Clarken and all the gorgeous quilting it had on it? Well, we can now do that on our home machines. You know, I do have a long arm back there, but I also like to do things on my home machine. And you can do some of the same things with these, or all of the same things with these rulers that we have. The key is you must get a ruler foot, and I'll show you mine in a bit because I've already attached to my machine. At beginnings, we can just about guarantee you that we can get a ruler foot that will work perfectly on your machine. Rachel and I and Todd have been busily figuring out which feet go with which machines. As a matter of fact, we even found that the one that I use on the machine I'm going to demonstrate on today uh, also works on Rachel's uh, featherweight machine. So just about any machine can do this. Again, though, you'll need to get the special rulers, and this ruler is perfect. This comes in a set that we are going to be offering at Beginnings Quilt Shop. It comes with a ruler foot, this ruler that has both a curved edge and a straight edge, which you can do so, so many cool things with, and it also has this little spacer tool that comes in handy. Well, I meant to bring some, um, <laughs> some of the projects I've been working on home from Beginnings so I could put it in this video, but I forgot them. So, I'm going to just show you a short demo here on my machine. So join me over there. See you in a bit. Okay, welcome to my machine. And as I said, I would uh, show you the ruler foot. This is the ruler foot that you can get and you get a different size depending on whether you have a low shank machine, a high shank or a, a medium shank, but we can help you with that. So it's, sim it's very easy to put this on. You just then bring your needle on. down to bring up your bobbin thread. There it is. Okay. Sometimes I feel like butter fingers with these gloves on, but I really use them a lot. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> because they are really helpful. I dropped my ruler. Okay, so I have brought my bobbin thread up. I'm going to put my needle down again right in the crosshairs that I've made in the center. Okay, and I'm going to make like a petal. I'm going to make four petals on this just for my demo today. So I take my ruler and I butt it right up against that foot. And then this is where that spacer tool can come in handy. It's marked with one quarter inch, one half inch, one eighth, and one inch. And I'm going to use the quarter inch one now. So I'm going to take it and measure from this edge, a quarter inch, butt my ruler up against it, And that is going to have me come down and hit that corner exactly. Now, some of you are wondering, is it hard to move the ruler with the fabric? Absolutely not. I don't even put any of this tape on it, which you can get just tape from uh, the, the drugstore or something if you have a trouble with that. I haven't needed to use that. The thing I do need to remember to do is to just use my fingertips. If I start putting my hands down flat and pressing, then I might have an issue, or at least I do. I feel the tension in my shoulders and my arms. If I keep reminding myself fingertips only, it's a breeze. So I'm going to do a few stitches in place, and then I'm just going to start stitching. Now it's not a race. Sometimes if you feel like some of these are things are slow, Imagine how much faster you are, though, than, than if you were hand quilting this. But you see, I'm going right down into that very area that I wanted. Now, at the very end, I'm going to be going to go slowly. And I wanted my needle down. If you don't have the needle down option on your machine, you can always use your hand wheel. So I've done one part of the pedal. I'm going to put my ruler right up against it. And this time, I'm going to use my quarter inch spacer bar again make it a quarter inch from the center from where I want to be. Okay, use the quarter inch, measure it up, and then start stitching again. One of the things that I really like to do is I like to use two layers of batting, especially if I want a lot of poof. One layer of uh, wool and one of cotton. So you can see so far what I've done. Hopefully you can see it. I probably should use a darker thread, but I didn't. Okay, now I'm going to go, let's see, where shall I go? 
I will go from here, from the center, out to this point over here. So again, I'm going to use my quarter inch to make my ruler be a quarter inch away from work where the actual point is that I want it to hit because this adds a quarter inch. This foot does. It makes my needle a quarter inch away from the side of this ruler. And when you get used to the, using these rulers and we have the classes, the ongoing classes, you'll see how great these rulers are because there's lots of lines on them to help you space things. You can do cross hatching, you can do curved cross hatching, you can do so many things. Okay, again, I can use my spacer. Eventually, you won't need to use the spacer because you'll be able to eyeball it, but the spacer is a wonderful tool until you learn to kind of get an eyeball of where this will end. And you gotta kind of go slow at the end to make sure you're in the center. And I guess I'll go over here. So again, I'll use my spacer tool, quarter inch from the, from the corner, perfect. And again. So you can see how easy this is. So if you've been afraid of free motion quilting, this is a wonderful way to go. You can hyper quilt if you like to, which means to add lots and lots and lots of little lines. But if you're a person who just likes a, a looser quilting, you can do that. There's just lots of options. And if you are a person that does love free motion, you can make all kind of beginning uh, areas using the rulers and then fill in with free motioning, which is what I really like to do. Okay, one last one to go, and then I'll show you. And again, you can come in on Friday the 13th of May 2016 and watch some demos. And if you haven't already called the shop, you can call the shop to reserve your uh, set of the foot and this ruler and the little spacer guide. Last one. Gonna use the guy over for there we go. Okay, cut it. Raise my foot. Let's see if you can see what I've done. You can kind of see that, but it isn't that easy. So simple and so much fun. There's so much you can do with just this one ruler. You won't believe it. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.